the romantic, the individualist, the artist, the aesthetic, the melancholic, the special one. These are some of the nicknames for a type four. This is our series on the Enneagram and Travel where we're taking a deep dive into all nine Enneagram types and how they may relate to travel. Stick around to the end where we're going to talk about three skills that type fours can use to strengthen their personal growth and improve their travel. So why do fours make good travel companions and why not? Type fours make great travel companions because they see the world in a vibrance that some of the rest of us miss out on. They will look for the most beautiful, the most picturesque, the most authentic, and the best experiences because of the beauty on the authenticity of it. Fours really prize and value authenticity, and so they will pursue that in their relationships and in their travel experiences, and they are very willing to welcome others into that experience with them. Fours are great at understanding and meeting other people's needs. They have a ability to sense a need or a desire that you, someone may not even realize they have. They can help you to dig into what it is you enjoy about your travel experience or about the place that you're visiting and see it in more of a creative way. Fours love atmosphere and so when they travel they're looking for those those unique moments, those places that may be overlooked, and the things that bring them joy. And they aren't always big things. They can be little things like the alleyway that is just super picturesque or the quaint little coffee shop down the street from where you're staying. They'll find those little unique moments that make a travel experience even richer. And they're great at sharing those with, with their travel companions. While fours can be great at instinctively knowing what other people need or finding ways to fill other people's travel desires, they can start to withdraw and live within themselves in a travel experience if they don't feel that they are being reciprocated, that their needs aren't being seen and met. So they'll start to withdraw and become more uh, closed off to other people and more in depth in their own minds and their own creative space, whether that's in their mind or reading a book or something like that, they'll, they'll withdraw. Fours have a tendency to be very moody if they fall into this withdrawing space and they can um, become really irritable and not very fun to be around. But the problem is that they're doing that because they want you to pursue them. They want to be rescued in a way. And so they're doing that in hopes that you will reach out and give them a big hug or do something to meet their need. They, they want you to see their need and to meet that need. But it can feel like trying to hug a porcupine sometimes. So it's hard for those of us that aren't fours um, to step outside of that comfort zone and be okay with getting some scratches as we try to reach out and remind the four that they are important, that we see them, and that we want to meet their needs as well as having our needs met. Fours have a deep desire for intensity in everything that they do, and in travel is no exception. So that can be an intensity of feeling or an intensity of pace or an intensity of the um, relationships that are around them. And uh, this is great because they're going to pull you in. They're going to include you and do all the really cool things when you're traveling. It can also lead to burnout for others not being able to achieve what the four is expecting the experience to be like. So just being aware of this as a four and those traveling as a four will help you to communicate better as you're experiencing your travels and your vacations. What does travel mean for a four? What would an ideal vacation be? Vacation for a four is an opportunity to delve into a richness and an intensity of feelings and experiences that they may not get in their day to day. So that can be in their relationships, but more likely in the experiences they're having. So the places that they're going, they want it to be very intense, very vibrant. They want to pursue creativity and that doesn't always have to be in the artsy sense. Fours desire authenticity in their life and they will pursue this in their travels looking for an authentic experience, authentic food, authentic culture, authentic uh, interactions with local people wherever they're traveling. 
If you would like to know more about the Enneagram, check out our first video in the series, Introduction to the Enneagram and Travel. If you want to dive even deeper, we have a resource page on our blog, Jaunty Everywhere. We will link all of that in the description below. So now let's take a look at three skills that a type four can use to grow as a person and grow as a traveler. So the first skill that a type four can practice to improve their travel experiences and help them to relate to others when they're traveling is one, embrace the mundane. When you're traveling, there can be a lot of times where you just have to sit like on an airplane or when you're driving from one place to the other. And you can definitely increase the experience, add to the experience, but allowing those moments to be mundane, allowing them to uh, just be the way they are and enjoying that time, time to sit and reflect, time to spend with the people that you're traveling with and not trying to add or make it more or intensify it in some way. Just allowing it to flow the way it's naturally going to flow. Skill number two is to communicate without withdrawing. It can feel like in certain travel situations that you're alone, that nobody understands you, that they're not hearing you and they're not going to fulfill your needs or your desires. And that will be true if you don't communicate and ask for what you need. So trying to catch yourself before withdrawing and sit down and just think through, okay, what is it that I need in this moment? And then communicating with that with your travel partners. And that's really all you can do is just communicate what you need and then they have to respond in whatever way. But if you've taken that step of growth, then you are moving forward as a traveler and as a person. And skill number three for the type four is probably an obvious one for fours, but is to keep a journal. And this is a place where you can keep all of those uh, moments of creativity, those thoughts, those feelings, the experiences that you've had that brought you that joy and uh, filled that vibrance and authenticity that you desire. It's a great place to look back later when you get home and maybe are back in more of a mundane day-to-day -day lifestyle. You can look back at your journal and have those memories to reflect on and uh, remember some of the vibrance and the authenticity of the travel experiences you've had. What are some things that can help before when traveling with others? And what are some things that are helpful to know if we're traveling with a type four? As we talked about before, a type four has the tendency to withdraw if they don't feel like their needs are being seen or met. And this can be difficult as a four because you're eliminating your travel companion's ability to understand you. You're withdrawing and making it difficult for them to approach you. Learning to communicate like we talked about in skill two will be really helpful for your travel companions to be able to relate to you and, and see your needs. And now if you're traveling with a type four, be aware that they do have needs and desires and they have this deep desire for authenticity and vibrance in what they're experiencing and their time with you. And they want to spend time with you. They just want it to be a certain way. They have a lot of expectations. So asking them about those expectations and pursuing them before you start traveling, before you go on vacation to know what it is their expectations are will help to eliminate any miscommunications and any frustration that comes out of unfulfilled expectations. One of the things a four struggles with is a feeling that they lack something that everybody else has. And they're constantly battling this feeling of not being good enough. So reminding your type four that they are there, that, that you want to see them, that you want to spend time with them, and that they have value will help them to feel more secure in your group and in your experience being a part of that experience. So reminding them and then seeing them and asking them the questions of what their expectations are and what they desire from to get out of their vacation and their travel experiences will help them to be more fully engaged and help the experience to go more smoothly. This is the fifth video in a series that we're doing on the Enneagram and travel. Keep an eye out for the rest of the nine types in the next few weeks. Also, we've done a deep dive blog post on each type on our blog, Jaunty Everywhere, and you can go right now and see those if you would, if you don't want to wait. There's also more information on the blog than in the video. And finally, we've created an ebook for each type. 
where we put all this information together in one place that you can download for free. The link is in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching. Happy travels.